I'm Christina and welcome to December's You Should Read This. This month's inspiration comes from two places. One is Among Us, the other one is a little bit of The Mandalorian. Season 2 just ended recently and I am not over it. I am still craving more science fiction and maybe you are as well. For those that haven't played Among Us, this will come in uh, to know a little bit about it. So, Among Us is a video game where you are a crewmate. Um, you are responsible for tasks on your ship and getting things back up and running. Uh, however, amongst your crewmates, there is an imposter. Well, you're trying to get your tasks done, they're trying to kill you and all of the rest of your crewmates. If they succeed, you are defeated. If you can figure them out and figure out who has been sus the entire time, um, then you win in victory. There's anywhere from one to two imposters, depending on how large of a group you're playing with. And it's really just been a fun way to connect with friends and practice our lying skills. Speaking of deception skills, this month's books all have something where someone is hiding something from everybody else. Up first, we have Nixia. Nixia, uh, this is our oldie pick, by the way. If you're not familiar with this um, setup, we have an oldie pick, a newbie pick, and an audiobook pick. So this is our um, oldie pick. What it's about, what would you be willing to risk for a lifetime of fortune? Emmett Atwater is a black teen from Detroit and has been asked to leave not just Detroit, but Earth. It's a mystery to him, but Emmett is one of 10 teens contracted by the Babel Corporation and promised enough money to take care of his family for a lifetime should he succeed. What do these teens have in common? All of them have a troubled past and are a long way from home. Also, they're all headed to Eden, a planet that Babel owns and has kept secret to mine for a mysterious substance called Nixia. It's the most valuable material in the universe. But the ship is full of secrets and there's a lot Emmett doesn't know. Why you should read it? Mystery, intrigue, there's an imposter. Also, if you like the competition or team stories, this is for you. Our second pick, our newbie pick, is Skyward. The sequel, Star Sight, came out rather recently, which is how it qualifies as a newbie. Here's what it's about. All Spencer has ever dreamed of is becoming a pilot like her dad, going up in the sky and aiding in the decades-long attacks. But when she was young, something happened that caused her dad to desert his team and sullied his reputation as a coward permanently. With her chances of attending flight school slim to none and no one letting her forget what her father did, she still takes a long shot at flight school and somehow gets them to hear her out. When she makes an accidental discovery in a long-forgotten cave, she may be able to fly just yet. Why, you should read it! Skyward is full of ship-flying scenes. Um, putting you in the cockpit with Spensa and her classmates, you feel the rush and the devastation of the attacks. And don't worry, there's something sus here, too, in the great blend of mystery and action. And our third pick this month, our audiobook pick, is Aurora Rising. There was a sequel that came out recently called Aurora Burning. You might have heard us talking about this at the South Shore Book Buzz this past uh, week. If you didn't, then head over to our Instagram, Ventress Memorial's Instagram, or Quincy Public Library's Instagram to check that out. What, it, what Aurora Rising is about. The year is 2380, and Tyler Jones is graduating with the other cadets of Aurora Academy. As captain, he gets his pick of crewmates. Or at least he should, but he's a bit distracted by Aurora, the girl he rescued from cryosleep in interdimensional space. Now he's stuck with these peeps. One, a cocky diplomat with a black belt for sarcasm, aka his sister, who, a sociopath scientist with a fondness for shooting her own bunkmates. Three, a smartass tech whiz with the galaxy's largest chip on his shoulder. Four, an alien warrior with anger management issues. And five, a tomboy pilot who's totally not into him, in case you were wondering. Why you should read it. Quote, they're not the heroes we deserve. They're just the ones we could find. <laughs> Nobody panic. It's multi-point of view which means it's told from multiple people. So Tyler um, is one of them, his sister is one of them, and these other, um, some of these other crewmates tell a part of the story. 
There's a great diversity rep here, including the differently abled. Um, someone in the group has a part robot mech suit that helps them get around. It's got great heart in its characters, and you'll easily care about all of them in this action-packed story, especially because each point of view has a differently uh, different narrator in the audiobook. So it's really easy to keep track of who's who. So that is our three and five recommendation this month. Uh, I am going to make a bonus recommendation. Uh, it has nothing to do with books either. If you're looking for a game that is similar uh, to Among Us, but maybe you don't have a computer or you're tired of hanging out on your Xbox or your phone, you guys need to check out the board game Clue. That's right, I am going old school with the recommendation. Uh, Clue is where you enter this house you've been invited with this other group of people, and among you, there is one killer, and it is your job to figure out who murdered someone, what was the murder weapon, and where did they do it? There are many rooms in this mansion. Now, there's different versions of this. Um, they're all a little bit different. If you're playing with some uh, kids who are on the younger side or maybe some of the tweens, um, you might want to check out Clue Jr., but if you're an older teen maybe um, older middle school or high school, you can definitely check out the classic version. Um, and I believe that there is a, uh, a Star Wars version. So that might be another way to help you get over your Mandalorian cravings while you're waiting for them to come out with more Star Wars stuff. So thank you for joining us. I will see you guys next month in January. If you haven't checked out uh, the other You Should Read This videos, they should be somewhere somewhere in this page. Um, they're all listed in our Facebook list under You Should Read This, and so far there are, I believe, this is the fifth one. So, we'll see you next month. Thanks, guys!